Russell, wonderful to have you join me. Queen Camilla, a snub to Elizabeth II or a well-deserved title? Well, good evening, Coy. Well, I suppose it depends what camp you're in, uh, doesn't it? But uh, it's certainly controversial, I think, because uh, just seven months after the late Queen's passing and just over a year since we had that statement during her Platinum Jubilee year that she, uh, it was her sincere wish that Camilla would be known as Queen Consort, we've seen for the very first time this statement from Buckingham Palace and, as you just showed, on the official invitation to the King's coronation that she will be known as Queen Camilla, and it's certainly a, a huge uh, step away from the sort of a public enemy number one that she had become in sort of her early years uh, within the royal family. So there's been a huge sort of a PR machine behind Camilla. But I think if we are being fair, she has worked incredibly hard over the last 20 years. She's rolled her sleeves up, got on with the business of raising profiles of charities, issues like domestic violence and children's literacy. So uh, I, I think it's well deserved, to be honest. Yeah, I do too, actually. I've grown to quite like her, and I think this is just the mechanism for the king to um, exit his mother's shadow. Um, you also had an exclusive story out today. The, the king has decided that only working royals will appear with him and, the que and Queen Camilla on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the Coronation Day finale. There's going to be no Andrew, and more importantly, there's going to be no Harry or Meghan. Do you think they'll even turn up if they can't be sent at front and centre? Well, well, I suppose we're still waiting uh, to see what they decide, because certainly the Duke and Duchess of Sussex haven't sent back their uh, their invitation reply. Um, the April the 3rd date has come and gone. Of course, they'd probably be afforded a bit more leeway than the average person attending the coronation. However, it's causing a bit of a headache for the organisers. And uh, the King had already decided that they wouldn't be appearing on the balcony. Now, the balcony moment will uh, you know, has gone down in history. We've had some tremendous ones over the years. The, the, the RAF fly past is always a great spectacle. But the King had only chosen working royals. So that means, of course, no Harry and Meghan, no Prince Andrew, of course. He's uh, still in exile, left in disgrace after his involvement in that sex abuse scandal. So I think we're going to see Charles's vision of a slimmed down monarchy um, and sort of paying tribute to the people who had sort of dedicated their lives to duty to the late Queen. And uh, sort of this new, this new era will be before our eyes before too long. It's going to be challenging. I can't believe that uh, people would not get the RSVP date to uh, meet that when they're invited to a royal coronation, particularly when you're a part of the royal family yourself. Moving on, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre stumbled when asked about President Biden's decision not to attend the coronation of King Charles III. Have a listen to this. Say and um, the president uh, had about a 25-minute, 30-minute call with the King King uh, King King Charles III, and during which he congratulated the king. I think we put that out uh, last night to his upcoming uh, coronation, and they have a very friendly uh, conversation. They have a, a a good relationship with the king. He talked about uh, how he enjoyed meeting, uh, visiting uh, the queen. I should say back in 2021, he and the first lady at Windsor, and uh, he hoped to visit again soon. Actually, during that call, the king offered uh, for him to come and do a state, a state visit, which, which uh, the president accepted. All right, the White House did confirm the first lady would be attending. So is Joe Biden snubbing the royals or is he just not up to international travel, do you think, Russell? No, I think that's probably a fair assessment. Uh, Joe Biden is in uh, Northern Ireland in the, in the coming weeks, and I think his, his organisers would say it's probably a bit more too much travel for a man in his 80s. But of course, Dr. Joe Biden will be there representing him. So I wouldn't put it down as a, a snub, to be honest. All right, Russell Myers, thanks very, very much for your time and joining me on Shari tonight.